Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to obtain some of the old guns as well as the new ones. They changed a lot, so you cannot like fish out the STGs anymore. And uh, the DMRs can only be found at pointy mass parts, then you can assemble them yourself. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Uh, the STG, the Sturmgeberhers can be found on rebel locations and cannot be fished out anymore. And uh, they are old guns, but uh, I will include it in the video because I was asked uh, by one of you to actually make it. Uh, the same goes for Sturmgeberher M, but uh, you actually craft it from the base one. Uh, I'll make it quick. Uh, I don't know, I think I, may, I will shoot it a bit, so let's see how it uh, fires. This one needs uh, some optics though to actually fire efficiently, so yeah. Uh, then we have SV-68. Uh, it can be found at any rebel location, uh, any military location uh, from the Soviet forces, the Russian ones. So, uh, like at Kahramaan airfield, uh, Tamara complex, uh, as far as where also Shalal water station inside the room. Uh, also at the Abu Al Kabar uh, construction place, and uh, yeah, uh, basically any military Soviet wood pulls. So this is like the M68, but uh, fancy. This is also how it's called in the files M68-SV. Uh, so yeah, it's nice, it's good. Um, then we have the Sabot MG. I already made a video on it. It's uh, it's quite a nice gun, it's secondary, uh, very low spread. Uh, 19 damage, 8 structure damage, a very high uh, bullet output. Uh, insane stuff. You can craft the armor for it because it cannot be refilled. Uh, then let's start with the uh, normal Vintar. Vintar and SLVA can be found at AG19. So go look for it. Uh, it's pretty much a semi-automatic DMR, uh, 38 damage, so, so basically uh, silencer already, uh, built-in silencer. Uh, I don't really know the range for it. Uh, you can attach a sight to it, uh, either the, the hollow sights or the scopes. Uh, then, uh, wait, I will talk about this later. And the Winter M, same thing, but with a grip and it can it has a tactical attachment. Vintar M can be crafted from the normal Vintar with weapon mod kit. I think yeah, there is a slight difference in damage um, by uh, 2 damage. And uh, then the SLVA uh, or ISVAL as I prefer to actually call it because uh, SLVA uh, gives me um, brain aneurysm. Uh, the same thing as uh, Vintar but uh, it's fully automatic and it's lower damage. Uh, actually a decent fire rate as well. They all uh, feed uh, intermediate ammunition, but this... Uh, yeah, they all feed the same thing. Intermediate ammo. Uh, then maybe the uh, SP-17 golden one. The other variants, they can be crafted, but this one can only be bought at the sales one of the... Uh, Dan guy, I think it's called, I don't know. The guy tracks it next to the informant guy with the documents. Uh, yeah, this is nice, can also run with it while aimed in, so pretty much all of the Polaris guns. Uh, then we have the EBR280 uh, and DMR280. The thing with them is that, uh, as I said previously, you can only get the parts in Point Lima, so I thought I would include it because some, of, some people may not know how to obtain them, so that's how you get it. And uh, yeah, you craft it then with uh, the parts, uh, just like that. And then uh, EBR. Uh, the next thing is Zolashni. Uh, is the RPK uh, that they added pretty much. Uh, you can find it at, find it at AG19, and uh, I'm not sure about other places. Maybe AG18 as well. Uh, it's Decent. By default, it comes with a, a large box of so 34 rounds. Uh, I think that's lower recoil than normal Zolash. Um, yeah, I think it's a good gun in general. Uh, yeah, it's it's decent. Uh, 
then yeah i'll move on to the ma10 that they added uh, pretty much just uh, deal with patreski then the comes with a default fancy scope uh, it has 70 damage hyper velocity ammo uh, has quite a kick to it but not as the emr so yeah it's it comes uh, it, it's a good base defense or a camping uh, weapon uh, if you have a roof access uh, then the low launcher it destroys almost all vehicles but apc and uh, ural if they're not 100 hp uh, will not also be spared but if they are full uh, it will take two shots so uh, that's an issue uh, yeah you can also uh, bind it to you can also hotkey it and i already talked about that uh, let's get to sar 16 then it's uh, pretty much carg uh, from the airdrop but uh, yeah more accessible if anyone played Tarkov, it's the uh, SR25, I think it was called. I don't remember, but it was the same thing, but uh, it's like AR-16, but semi-automatic. That's all there is to it, and also a bit more damage. Um, Tech Proto, uh, there used to be one in the game already, but uh, this one is new, and you can get it from either a barter or a crafted. Uh, yeah, it's the uh, sem uh, semi-weapon, I mean, uh, secondary weapon. Uh, not as bad. Then uh, honorary mesh is the MBKP. Uh, you can only uh, get parts for it. It used to actually draw from the crates. I don't know when they changed it, but uh, that's how you get it, I guess. You can only find it at AG18, AG19, I mean. Uh, Kalakov mod is a, a barter item. You get it at red. I'm not really sure when you unlock it, but uh, I think after the end of it is 4. Or maybe uh, 3. Mm. Yeah, it's a good weapon, 33 damage, you can mount your sight, uh, barrel attachment and tactical. Uh, quite good secondary, honestly, it can even be used probably as primary, since uh, it has quite the competitive damage compared to other weapons. Uh, it's honestly a better version of PDW, uh, depending on how you look at it, because I think this one yeah, has a bit more uh, fire rate. Uh, you get from uh, parts that you can that you can find at uh, point lima they can uh, drop from the craze sometimes but uh, very rarely uh, then what i said before the pro 90 uh, sadly as far as i'm aware you cannot obtain it in uh, normal ways it cannot be spawned in because i checked uh, all the airdrop crates in the files uh, like the weapon cases and it doesn't exist it doesn't have a weapon case for itself so i believe it's uh, unobtainable in survival uh, but i may be wrong uh, so yeah uh i don't really have it on me right now uh, let me just quickly spawn it in i don't even know if i have the id for it quickly oh yes here uh this is the uh, focus rifle uh, you can obtain it from uh, the quest. I have a video on it. I will uh, pin it, link it right. Uh, it will appear in your right corner of the screen, like over here. And uh, yeah, it's uh, honestly it's more of a souvenir weapon. It's, uh, it shouldn't really be taken out because you can only get one uh, per wipe of the server. Or if you're playing on a single player, it's obviously a one time item you cannot get more of them so if you lose it uh well say goodbye to it i guess uh then another item uh it can be quite challenging to obtain is the aw12 uh you can either get it from a boss zombie at uh, fort nell it uh, i don't know if it's found right now but uh, it can be found right here and it's not here today. Uh, you actually can spend as a boss zombie and not a mega, so keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, uh, it also drops from an airdrop, so you should also keep that in mind. And about the MKP, I just remember that it also can spawn in the airdrop that uh, drops about here, as far as I remember. Yeah, uh, so 
This is the more accurate screenshot of where the air drop lands, right on the marker or my cross over there. Yeah, somewhere about here it drops, so uh, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and yeah, see you in the next one. You can also join the Discord, and uh, unless I have another great idea on what to make on Ari as a guide, there won't be any videos coming to it, and I will be forced to resort to some either RP or some uncreated or some other survival stuff, so uh, slide me a good idea in the comments or in the Discord, so yeah, bye.